Hello there. I hope you're keeping well. Atheism for Lent is fast approaching. It starts in two weeks. And so what I wanted to do is take a series of videos just to describe in outline what you'll be getting. Now, as you probably know by now, through the whole of Lent, you will get a daily email with reflection and you get weekly seminars from me. Now, each week builds on the last and kind of critiques and takes up what went before it. So we start off with the traditional arguments for the existence of God in week one, and then the traditional arguments against the existence of God in week two. And then in week three, we go into the mystical approach, which kind of has an atheism built up within it where the mystics say every time you say God, you deny God, right? And then the next week is a kind of like taking up as and materializing of that mystical approach. So we keep going in that direction, seeing how theism and atheism move together and uh, influence each other and then ultimately are woven into each other. Now, probably the first week is the most boring week, but it's only three days or four days, so it's fine. Uh, because if we're going to do this journey, we need to start off by knowing the basic arguments for God, the basic arguments of theism. Now, there are innumerable arguments for the existence of God, but classically speaking, uh, they can be boiled down to three. The teleological, the cosmological and the ontological. And it's not so much the teleological argument, it's the teleological arguments, the cosmological arguments and the ontological arguments. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at, uh, very briefly, but the hearing those arguments from some of the greatest advocates of those arguments. So instead of reading them through somebody else, that's very important in Atheism for Lent, everything is from primary thinkers. And I help you dissect those primary thinkers and understand them. But you'll be hearing from William Paley, from Thomas Aquinas, and from uh, René Descartes. And we will look at those arguments. And then in the talk, I will, as I say, kind of dissect them in more detail. And I probably uh, will draw out an argument of Immanuel Kant's because he argued that the teleological argument, if it's successful, rests ultimately on the cosmological argument. And the cosmological argument, if it's successful, needs to rest on the ontological argument. And so really you can boil down all of these classic arguments for the existence of God down to three and ultimately down to one. And that is the strangest, most interesting. So the first two, the teleological and the cosmological are all about what we experience in the world. The teleological arguments are basically arguments that work from our experience that the world has order and design, apparent design. Right, so that's a, a T loss in order. The cosmological arguments also are what's called a posteriori. They come out of experience. A posteriori means kind of after experience, through experience. Uh, so the cosmological, that rests on the idea that we see contingent things in the universe. Everything seems contingent coming into existence and going out of existence. And from that experience, uh, there's an argument that there must be something that exists of necessity. And then finally, the ontological argument is called an a priori argument, which means it's prior to experience. You can do the argument purely with your mind without going into the world and experiencing anything. And that is an argument that God, by definition, cannot not exist. Uh, and the ontological argument is one of those weird ones. At first, it's very hard to get your head around. But once you get it, um, you can kind of understand it. And you can understand why Descartes says that God's existence is actually clearer and more distinct than our own existence. <laughs> it's easier to argue that God exists than anything else in the universe, including yourself. And so we'll understand why he says that. It's very, very interesting. Um, so, uh, and then, as I say, I'll offer up a few thoughts on those arguments and then the next week will be a series of attacks, not just on those arguments, but on really theism as such. 
so okay next video i will do a little introduction to those people and then we'll do an, the introduction to the third week the fourth week etc if you would like to be part of me for this journey um, which i would really encourage you to do we've got a couple of hundred people signed up at least at the moment and there's an active whatsapp group that will be going throughout where people can discuss things there's a processing room where you can meet other people going on this journey and as i say at the end of this you will have a huge array of material um, that I don't think is, exists anywhere in book form quite like this, where you will have the kind of a beautiful historical array of some of the best arguments uh, in relation to theism and atheism and how they relate together. So 14th of February, it all starts there. Hope to see you. Take care. Bye-bye.